The 2022 National Dog Show will be presented by the Kennel Club of Philadelphia this November on Thanksgiving Day following the Macy's Day Parade. And joining me to break down with us in studio is the host of the show and legendary actor best known for his portrayal of Jay Peterman on Seinfeld, John O'Hur of Hurley and champion. Look at this little puppy here. This is Ani mm -hmm. and I love her. She's the star of the show. We were looking at her in the green room. So welcome. Thank you. Yes, Ani <laughs> is a, a little Brewer Terrier. She's one of the new breeds that we introduced last year. She is a breed champion. And You're she's very so good. Yourself, yes, you are. She's just hanging out with us. So thank you so much for, mm -hmm. for joining us today because it's just a couple of months away. Uh, I know we watch this show in my house. We watch the Macy's Day Parade mm -hmm. and then we move on to watch the, the dog show. Uh, talk to us about what, what goes into this. Well, it's uh, this is a kind of a miracle of programming, if I call it. There was a two, a two hour slot in between the parade and football and <laughs> no one could ever figure out what to do with it. They were showing reruns of It's a Wonderful Life and uh, the head of NBC Sports brought home the idea of doing a dog show in that and it turned out to be an extraordinary success. We had 19 million people watching it the first year uh, back in 2002 and now we have an audience of about 30 million. Wow. So un unlike other areas in, in television, our audience has actually grown but it's a credit to what dogs, right? Yes, yes it's a credit to you. Yes, she's agreeing with you. <laughs> yeah, you know this this show, is it's a family event because mm -hmm. I know my kids watch it and um, there was even during the pandemic it happened. There was no break with this with this trip. No, we did. Uh, yeah, we still did it. Uh, uh, my co-host David Fry and I actually hosted the show from our homes. If so, you got creative. Little, it was a little awkward, and we had all the dogs that were there in the arena, but there was nobody there. But we did keep the tradition going. As I say, this is one of the oldest uh, kennel clubs, the Philadelphia Kennel Club in uh, uh, in Pennsylvania. There, but they have licensed the show as the National Dog Show on Thanksgiving it's Day, great. and it continues to go. And there's up to 2,000 dogs of the top American kennel club. So the new breeds, as you mentioned, this little puppy was, was introduced. This, this was introduced breed. last year and actually won its breed last year. And what other breeds much? have been introduced? Uh, well, we have, you know, when I started, we had 100, in 2002, we had 160 plus breeds. Today we have... 207 breeds and varieties. Isn't that something that's growing wow. so much? And for a breed to be recognized, it needs to have a, uh, a kind of a home club and there needs to be enough representation, uh, representatives of the breed. It takes quite a while. This is actually a newer breed, really. This started back in the 80s. Many, of, Most She's of the adorable. breeds have uh, histories that go back thousands of years, but this is a kind of a new breed. John, what goes into, uh, for the judges, what, what do they look for and how do they pick the winner? Well. You know, it's you, 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 it's not the cuteness factor, and we get a, we get a, <laughs> you, you have to kind of deal with that every year, saying, "Well, that dog's not cute. Why are they <laughs> picking that as best in show?" But it really goes it goes into the conformation of the dog, whether you know the ships, the, the hips and the and the shoulders aligning, the coat, the um, everything that everything that the judge can see by putting their hands on the dog. So it's uh, there's there's a lot that you don't know about what's going on right here that a judge would know. And it requires an enormous amount of education to be a, a not only a group judge, a breed judge, but also a best in show judge. I mean, they really have got to know, I mean, they've got to sure. know 207 varieties of and dogs. And I'm, I'm sure for the owners too, the amount of, of, of training and, and um, prep work that, that goes into this for the dogs. It is amazing. We have 2,000 2, dogs uh, and they're all breed champions at one point but um we we'll put them all in a room with 30,000 people and there are no dog fights. Everybody <laughs> gets along and everybody, it's the happiest day of the year, I'll tell you. I, and because it's a benched show and we're in the New York area, I would encourage anybody who is uh, watching this to think about coming out to uh, Philadelphia to see the dog show. It's a wonderful way to really enjoy yourself. I love that shot. Uh, <laughs> but, there you uh, are. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, a wonderful, it's a wonderful day, uh, to, to all of the dog, because it's a bench show, all well, of the dogs dog and the that? owners for me. That That's actually an Afghan. Okay. That, uh, that was right after I won Dancing with the Stars, <laughs> and so I figured I wasn't going to waste the uh, the opportunity to, to take a spin with uh, with the Afghan. Yes, yeah, so this it's the mostly widely viewed dog show in America. Mm -hmm. uh, we had our first repeat champion last year, Claire, mm -hmm. the Scottish Deerhound. Oh yeah, beautiful dog. You know, and oddly enough, a breed that I'm not really uh, 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 I wouldn't really look at twice, sure. but but I tell you, I've spent two years with Claire now, and that's one of the sweetest dogs I have ever come across. I we just it. did a photo shoot the other day. You with did? Oh, beautiful dog. Um, you must be. What do you do to get ready for the show? 
Uh, well, I, I work on the new breeds, and, and usually the new breeds are very difficult to, uh, <laughs> for me to... Because <laughs> they, they have, like, the Mexican hairless. It's called the Cholo Itzquintli. Okay. I had to spend about three weeks uh, shaving in front of a mirror, going, like, Cholo Itzquintli, Cholo Itzquintli. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, I guess it has to trip it off. It must be so time. much fun, though. It is. It's the greatest day of, of the year for me, being able to uh, be surrounded by 2,000 wonderful dogs. And they just... And they don't. And nice. by the way, and they, don't, they don't care who wins. Exactly. Okay. I love that. Before we do go, I do want to talk to you about, you're the founder of Gold Seal Industries, focusing oh, on yes. sustainable energy practices. Can you tell us a little bit about this? We have about 20 seconds. It's a unique uh, It's a unique technology just being introduced all across the world right now. It takes any form of waste and turns it into large amounts of energy with absolute zero emissions, and it's off the grid, so it powers itself. Very smart. And it can do not only waste, but coal with zero emissions, which has never been done before. Love it. John O'Hurley, thank you so much for joining us today. And we will be watching on Thanksgiving Day. Great to be thank with you. Thank you. Nice job. Hey, guys, it's Rob Carson. September is historically the worst performing month for the stock market, so you better be ready for it. The Fed continues to aggressively raise rates, and J.P. Morgan is forecasting another mega rate hike September the 21st. Is that why Jamie Dimon said an economic hurricane is coming our way? Well, gold and silver have remained remarkably stable despite the Fed aggressively raising rates today. The Patriot Gold Group has a special incentive for Newsmax viewers. Huge! Now precious metals investors can enjoy the No Fee for Life Gold and Silver IRA on qualifying rollovers or enjoy free, discreet, insured shipping on all direct gold and silver purchases. Here's the number, 800-356-4470. Call 800-356-4470 today.